everyone how are you guys doing yeah we are in preparation for his sound ministries live recording june the 15th right i'm titus glenn I'm marcus guy and so what we wanted to do was just kind of just take some footage just to kind of bring you guys in on our journey and uh what we're doing in rehearsal our preparation and what you will also hear are some of the feedbacks from some of the background singers so before we get into that i'm gonna let marcus just kind of talk about what he's expecting or what he's experienced from what well, he's expecting they're gonna hear it on the on well the... i know that but just kind of kind of give a little bit some analysis on what you, what you no think. you're just gonna get a brief uh taste of uh some of the stuff that the lord has given us uh to sing on that night um we're looking to record it <laughs> no just listen and hopefully uh um, the, the music, uh, what you, the little that you hear will minister uh, to you because we're expecting God to do a miraculous work on um, that evening. It's not for any uh, pride for ourselves or for any, any uh, uh, stage for us to be exalted, but ultimately for his name to be exalted, to be magnified, to be lifted, to be lifted up and to be glorified in all that we do. So go ahead and just uh, take this moment to look at the behind the scenes of Kingdom Sound 2013. All right, that sounds good. to me the most because it just speaks of God just being our everything it really speaks to the heart of a worshiper and, um, I think that's my favorite song out of all the songs I'm in your presence um, okay. it's a really simple song but it holds a lot of meaning and the words are very easy to retain and it's just kind of one of those songs that you catch yourself singing at work or in the car or um, just anything like that. It's the one that stuck the most for me, so really excited about that one. Come Let Us Return is still one of those those things where you've been out there by yourself. I mean, you, you know the Lord, have that relationship, but you've gone so far and it's like, whoa, how did I get out here? Well, let's go back. And he will do the restoring, and he will do the, you know, the blessing. He will speak it, you know. So I know for me, that's how. And so, what do you, what do you think people should be expecting 
from this live recording? Oh. I think people should be expecting an encounter with God. Um, I think people should be expecting a breakthrough. All different artists around DFW that people may not know and those um, who people may know coming together and worshiping one God and one Lord. So they should expect basically real. You should expect to see the Lord for yourself. Experience him for yourself in a way that you've never experienced him before. I think people should come with uh, just expectancy to to get what they need from the Lord. Are you personally? I'm extremely excited, and I know the power of God is going to be so strong in there that night, and lives are going to be saved, and that's the ultimate goal. Oh.